Right, okay, thank you for joining The Average Golfer. Once again, Buena Vista Golf Club, and look at that for a view. That's pretty special, isn't it? Anyway, I'm gonna play this golf course, carry on playing this golf course, that is, but with these pink G410s in the bag at a minute, that's the irons is what I'm looking at now. I've got a five iron, I've got a seven iron, and I've got a pitching wedge. I'm gonna give you my opinion on how they look, how they feel, and ultimately how they perform in the hands of the average golfer. Before we do that, it's back over to the UK and find out what tech is packed into these golf clubs from Ping. So the G410 irons, and no doubt they're gonna be put to the test very, very shortly, which is what you're really interested in. But let's see a bit of tech spec from Ping. And we're gonna start with uh, this Core Eye technology. And I like the fact that they've said that this is the highest face deflection we've ever had in a cavity back design. And basically what that means is that the ball is expected to achieve greater distance and higher maximum height amplifies ball speeds as they say i like that word amplifies um, we've got very much uh, seven iron loft at 30 degrees this is available in power spec uh, model you see there um, top rail undercut as it's called by ping increases face flexing for greater distance and higher maximum height and what they've done is uh, interesting here is they've put some weight in into the hosel and also into the toe. It's a slightly shorter blade with less offset than that of the G400. So again, trying to improve that, uh, those aesthetics that might appeal to a broader audience. All sounds fantastic, but we know it's all about reality. That's the hype. What happens out there on the fairways? Let's get back over to Tenerife. Right, so that's tech spec done from over in the UK, back out in the warmth of uh, Tenerife, and I'm glad to be here. Anyway, so I've got five iron and seven iron in the main that I'll be hitting. We'll get some ball tracer, shot tracer on these and see what they uh, look like in terms of ball flight. See what we're getting yardages out on the course. Talk about sound and feel and ultimately performance. And then we'll do a, very, uh, a summary at the very end of all this. Right, one thing uh, I did forget to say on the earlier clip, and um, I'm finding it consistently when I'm going out, is that uh, I mentioned about uh, producing the same numbers as what I'd found uh, in terms of dry ball data, and that is still the case. Every iron I'm hitting is consistently on the right number, so there's always some, or I say always, there's been a criticism in the past of these sort of game improvement irons as having sort of a, a lot of dispersion front to back, and I'm certainly not seeing that. I didn't see it in terms of the dry ball data, and I'm certainly not seeing it on the course, and I'm really happy to grab the club on the number that uh, I'm looking for, and providing I hit the shot, execute the shot, it is going to that number. So that's a, a real big positive for the irons in terms of game improvement iron. Also the profile, uh, not heavily touched on. Uh, they've sort of slimmed it down, there's still a bit of mass behind the ball, uh, but I think the mass that will give a lot of people confidence. A little bit of offset, which again, um, I'm perhaps struggling with a tad um, in terms of that sat behind the ball at address, but uh, nothing major going on. Overall, like I said, uh, pretty decent set of irons he put together here, I feel the G410s, but um, as I said, we'll go through the numbers and do the summary at the end. Right, so a little bit of feedback along the way with the irons, and uh, like I've been mainly in five iron and seven iron to be fair. Um, distance wise, probably very, very similar to what I was finding in dry ball data, a little bit longer, uh, slightly stronger lofted as you'd expect. So I'm sort of, I'm, I'm gauging 160 ish for seven iron, and that's kind of the number that I'm hitting. Um, feel, I didn't particularly like the sound nor feel in terms of dry ball data. In, in, in that inside environment and acoustics are often very different when you get out on the course and they're better but the one thing that I'm not overly keen on uh, and I've not been throughout the range is the sort of very hard feel out of these irons very much like I was getting out of the um, the hybrids and also out of the fairway woods it is a very very hard sound and 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 feel it just feels hard that is all I can explain it as and for me it's nowhere near soft enough. I think it's actually perhaps even a backward step from the, the, the feel that was of the G400 irons. That's uh, my initial impression, sort of half a dozen shots in 
out here on the course and quite a few from dry ball data but I will carry on hitting and we'll do our summary at the end. Right, okay, I'm gonna have a little bit of a break at the back of this 13th green. It's uh, my favorite position on the course. We'll talk about these uh, 410 irons. This is a, you know, it's a game improvement iron. It's always gonna carry a little bit of bulk. So that's something again, that you're gonna have to uh, be comfortable with in gaming. Um, the next big thing out here on the course, like I said, you're looking at the, the feel and the sound. And I just think that it's not as good as the G400s. That's the issue I have. Everybody seems to have improved the sound and feel of the irons in the game improvement sets where they put these dampers in uh, and whatever else to soften uh, the whole sound of this type of iron. And again, I don't think they've achieved this with the G410, I'm afraid. That aside as being the negative, the performance, and I'll throw some dry ball data up for you to have a look at. The numbers were as you'd expect for this kind of 30 degree lofted seven iron or 160 carry, not overly long. Spin number was very, very good, which is really impressive to see. That's something that, again, has improved with these irons, generating a decent spin number. Um, but performance, like I said, where it expected to be. Out here on the course, five iron, seven iron, really, really good performance. Very consistent, no concerns in terms of uh, dispersion numbers front to back. And I think that's the big key thing. Very, very good. As I've said with all the range, great performers out there on the course, very consistent more than happy to play these irons if again sound feel and looks tick the box for you then certainly worth a look at 2019 if this is the kind of club you're in the marketplace for anyway that's me done with this one comments down below and uh i might sit here for another half an hour before i move on to t14 i think how nice is that